The early days of space exploration weren't as polished as they are today. Long before we had rovers on Mars, brave men, women, and even animals ventured into the great unknown of space. Back then, it was trial and error, and sometimes just plain luck. Scientists were figuring it out as they went along, and some of the things they did and achieved were wildly too strange to believe. I'm Mike with List25, and here are 25 mind-bending facts about early space exploration you probably haven't heard before. 25. Laika, the first astronaut dog ever. During the space race, the US and USSR had a plan. Before sending humans to the stars, why not test with animals first, just in case. Laika, a lovable mongrel, was then chosen from a pack of stray dogs from Moscow. She underwent harsh training but her calm nature and small size made her the perfect pup for the job. Laika became the first living creature to orbit the Earth on Sputnik 2 in 1957, but sadly, her journey ended up in tragedy due to overheating. 24. The first applesauce in space. In 1962, John Glenn made history, but he also made applesauce go where no sauce had gone before. As Glenn orbited Earth aboard Friendship 7, he spooned the pureed fruit from a squeezable aluminum tube, testing if humans could even swallow it in zero gravity. This squeeze-packed snack led to decades of fine-tuning space cuisine. Well, you know what they say, when life gives you zero gravity, eat applesauce like a pro. 23. The Soviet Union beat the US with Sputnik. Now this is a big one. In 1957, the Soviet Union stole the lead in the space race with Sputnik, a shiny, beach ball-sized satellite that emitted a steady beep, haunting American airwaves. This tiny metal orb, more advanced than any tech NASA had, shocked the US into action. Suddenly, space wasn't just science fiction. Sputnik's eerie signal reminded Americans that the race to the stars was officially on. 22. Yuri Gagarin, the Overnight Celebrity in 1961, Yuri Gagarin became the first human in space, orbiting Earth once in just 108 minutes. The Soviet cosmonaut didn't even control the spacecraft. It was fully automated. When he landed back on Earth, he had to parachute from his capsule at 23,000 feet, an end almost as thrilling as his journey. In the blink of an eye, he was celebrated globally, with cities, streets, and even children named in his honor. Not every astronaut lands that level of fanfare, but Gagarin was just that legendary. 21. Armstrong's Tribute to the Wright Brothers Did you know that Neil Armstrong brought a special souvenir with him to the moon? It was a piece of fabric from the Wright Brothers plane, which he received from the U.S. Air Force Museum. This little relic was part of his personal preference kit, a small bag of belongings that each astronaut was allowed to bring on the lunar module Eagle. It was a nod to the pioneers of flight, connecting the first flight in 1903 to the historic moon landing in 1969, which is still incredible when you think about it, going in just 66 years from flying at all to landing on the moon. That's incredible. 20. NASA's Astronaut Corvettes Back in the 60s, NASA provided its astronauts with flashy rides, Chevy Corvettes. Thanks to a sweet leasing deal arranged by a Florida dealership, astronauts drove these powerful cars for just $1 a year. The sight of a sleek Corvette pulling into NASA was part of the astronaut image, embodying speed, style, and daring. For a time, the Corvette was as much an astronaut status symbol as the spacesuit. 19. The rockets that changed colors. Turns out, early rocket science had a touch of auto shop flair. To monitor heat levels during launch, NASA used color-changing paint, borrowed from car manufacturers. The paint shifted shades based on temperature, creating a vivid heat map that highlighted stress points on the rocket's surface. Not only was it a safety game changer, but it also added a bit of color to the space mission. I mean. Who knew rocket launches could be so artistic? 18. Alan Shepard's unplanned space leak. Alan Shepard may have been the first American in space, but his bladder didn't exactly follow NASA's mission plan. In 1961, after sitting through hours of delays, Shepard realized he couldn't hold it in any longer, and there was no bathroom on board. So, in true space pioneer spirit, he peed in his suit. Unfortunately, the urine short-circuited some electrodes monitoring his vitals, but luckily no harm was done. It turned out that he had a breakfast of orange juice and coffee. Maybe a bit too much caffeine? NASA got the message. Less caffeine, less waiting time, and a better bathroom system next time. 17. Monkeys on the Moon? 
Before Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin, NASA and the Soviet Union toyed with the idea of sending monkeys to the moon. In fact, early space missions used monkeys to test life support systems and survival in extreme conditions. But when they realized the significance of the moon landing, they decided uh, maybe monkeys weren't cut out for this gig. Sure, a moonwalking monkey would have been quite the story, but they decided humans were a better fit for the job. And if you're enjoying this video, please don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, do all of that fun stuff. It truly helps the algorithm, which in turn truly helps the channel. I know us YouTubers say it all the time, but there's a reason. It actually works. Thank you guys so much. 16. Buzz Aldrin's Space Selfie Years before selfies became a thing, Buzz Aldrin took the first space selfie during the Gemini 12 mission in 1966. Hanging out of his capsule, he captured a shot of himself with Earth in the background. Aldrin's photo wasn't just a cool flex, it marked a turning point in space photography, proving you could pull off a decent shot even in zero gravity. Today, astronauts continue the trend with insane photos from the ISS. 15. Spacesuits by Playtex? Believe it or not, those iconic spacesuits from the Apollo missions were handcrafted by Playtex, the bra company. Tasked with creating airtight suits flexible enough for the moon, Playtex's seamstresses went to work. Each suit had over 20 layers and took hours of meticulous sewing. So when Neil Armstrong took that famous step, it was partly thanks to the same hands that crafted the era's lingerie. 14. The first words from the moon. Not what you think. Everyone remembers Neil Armstrong's one small step quote, but the first words actually spoken from the moon were contact light, signaling a successful touchdown. These less than poetic words came from Buzz Aldrin as they safely landed. Only after confirming they were securely on the moon's surface did Armstrong follow with his famous line. Now, I mean, if, if I were Neil, I would probably just been like, look, mom, I made it. Pigs in space. I mean, if I were Neil, the first thing I'd say would probably been like, look, mama made it. 13. Ham the Chimp, Space Pioneer. Now, let's check out another famous animal that made it to space. In 1961, the U.S. sent Ham the Chimp on a suborbital flight. Ham's mission tested life support systems and zero gravity effects, and even pulled levers to earn rewards mid-flight. He returned safe and sound, and his bravery paved the way for human spaceflight. Ham's survival wasn't just a win for science, it made him one of NASA's first heroes with fur. 12. Turtles in Space Before risking human lives, the Soviet Union sent turtles around the moon aboard Zond 5 in 1968. These hardy space travelers circled the moon and safely returned, helping scientists study biological reactions to space conditions. Turtles proved remarkably resilient, and their voyage helped pave the way for human missions. Thanks to Zond 5, the saying, slow and steady wins the race, took on a cosmic meaning. 11. Apollo's computers versus your smartphone. NASA's Apollo missions sent astronauts to the moon with computers less powerful than today's smartphones. The Apollo guidance computer had about 64 kilobytes of memory. Yeah, that's less than what it takes to store a single photo. Yet, it got astronauts 240,000 miles to the moon and back, proving that ingenuity could bridge any technological gap. So the next time your phone freezes, remember, we once reached the moon with far less tech. 10. Ed White's Unforgettable Encounter Have you ever wondered what it would be like to walk out of a spacecraft? Well, here's the guy to ask. On June 3rd, 1965, Ed White made history as the first American to take a spacewalk. As he stepped out of the Gemini capsule, he was blown away by the breathtaking view of our planet and the stars. He got so caught up in the moment that he didn't want to come back inside. Luckily, Mission Control was there to bring him back in. But I mean, can you even blame him? Walking in space would be like nothing we've ever experienced. The, the weightlessness, the, the views, the beauty. I am so jealous. 9. JFK and the almost forgotten space speech. John F. Kennedy's famous, we chose to go to the moon speech nearly didn't happen. At first, JFK wasn't all that enthusiastic about space exploration, worrying about its costs. But geopolitical pressures and the chance to inspire the nation led him to make one of history's most iconic pledges. His speech changed space history, turning skeptics into believers and helped make the moon landing a reality. 8. NASA's Battle with Moon Germs When Apollo astronauts returned from the moon, NASA wasn't taking any chances. They were quarantined to prevent possible moon germs from spreading on Earth. 
Scientists didn't know what kind of microbes, if any, they'd encounter on the lunar surface, so they locked the astronauts in a mobile quarantine unit just in case. The fear of interplanetary germs may seem funny now, but at the time, it was deadly serious. Into the unknown. Into the unknown. Seven, Mercury astronauts, the badass test pilots. You know, this might be one of the big reasons why we should genuinely respect NASA. NASA's Mercury astronauts were all military test pilots, veterans of high-speed jets and danger. Test pilots used to extreme speeds and quick decisions were ideal for space missions, where mistakes weren't an option. They'd been through fiery plane tests and life-or-death scenarios, preparing them for the harshness of space. I mean, no wonder NASA wanted the best of the best. The Mercury 7 were true daredevils turned badass astronauts. 6. Soviet Luna 2's Impact on the Moon on September 14, 1959, Luna 2 made history by becoming the first human-made object to smash into another celestial body, the Moon. The Soviet craft landed on the Moon's surface, east of Mare Imbrium, near some pretty cool craters about 160 miles from where Apollo 15 would land 12 years later. This wasn't just a crash landing, it made a cosmic statement. It also beat the US to a lunar arrival by nearly a decade. Okay, okay, I have a joke. Why did Luna 2 start a band? Because it knew how to rock the moon. Oh God. I don't want to take credit for that. That's in the script. Not, not taking credit. I didn't, oh man. Five, timing space missions. Down to the second. You probably didn't know this, but for early space missions, precision timing was everything. Especially after Suyas 1, Suyas 11, and X-15 Flight 91 crashed upon re-entry, NASA's engineers knew they had to get it just right. They calculated fuel, speed, and angle down to the second to ensure a safe return for astronauts. One tiny mistake could mean skipping off the atmosphere or burning up upon re-entry. It wasn't just about being brave, it was about getting the math spot on. 4. A Golden Olive Branch on the Moon in 1969, Apollo 11 astronauts made a powerful statement on the moon. They planted a golden olive branch, a symbol of peace, on the lunar surface. This gesture wasn't just about exploring space. It was a message sent to the world that despite Cold War tensions, humanity could come together. The Apollo 11 crew also left behind the American flag, a plaque to commemorate their mission, and a silicon disc packed with goodwill messages from 74 world leaders. Three. Women in Mercury? NASA initially planned to send women into space during the Mercury program, but scrapped the idea when funding cuts hit. Instead, they opted to focus on the male test pilots, but the decision sparked debates that would persist for decades. Despite this, female astronauts like Sally Ride and Mae Jemison would eventually break through, proving that space wasn't just a man's world, it was a frontier for all. Even more fascinating, Wally Funk, one of the women who was meant to be part of the original Women in Space program, finally got her chance to fly on July 20th, 2021, aboard Blue Origin's New Shepard 4 mission. At 82, she became the oldest person to go into space. 2. Biological samples in satellites You might think the first satellites were all about gathering data about our planet, but that's not the whole story. These early satellites actually carried some unexpected cargo, biological samples like mice, monkeys, and even fruit flies. Scientists wanted to see how living organisms would fare in space, exposed to radiation and zero gravity. Turns out early satellites weren't just about data, they were the original space zoo. One, V-2 rocket, from war to space. The first rocket to reach space, the V-2, wasn't designed for exploration. It was a German military weapon during World War II. Developed by Werner von Braun, the V-2 reached the edge of space in 1944. Post-war, von Braun and his team helped the U.S. develop rockets for NASA, turning a deadly weapon into the foundation for space exploration. Apart from that, the Atlas and Titan II rockets were also military tools that got a makeover for space adventures. And that's a wrap for today. But don't worry, that was just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to jaw-dropping discoveries. If you're craving more mind-blowing facts, be sure to check out our video on 25 unbelievable facts that'll make you question reality. You ever wonder where genies come from? And what about that Bolivian tribe using poop to clean their water? Trust me, you don't want to miss it. So click the link right here to watch it now, and I'll catch you next time. Also, check out Dark Roast Detectives, our new channel. 
if you like true crime. Don't do crime. I've said it before. If you like watching stuff about true crime, don't. Oh, God. 